Home Remedies. I'm going to show you five simple remedies that I use in my own home to help soothe or ease our cold and flu symptoms when we get sick. I am not a doctor, so please see a doctor if you think you need one. Ginger honey tea is a great way to boost your immune system. The ginger and the honey combination is amazing. Honey acts as a natural antibiotic and the ginger helps with pain and inflammation, which is great. The lemon is also loaded with vitamin C, which can help boost your immune system. So this is a great cocktail to kill a cold and flu. So I used about one cup of ginger root, but you can use less if you can't handle the taste as much. And I peeled the skin off and then I cut it into little cubes like this. Once you've cut it into cubes, you'll want to set it aside and grab some lemons. I used about two lemons in this recipe, but you can use more if you'd like. Then you want to take about a half a cup to a cup of honey, depending on your desired taste, and add it to about four or five cups of water. And just put it all in the pot together. You can add the honey afterwards if you'd like, but I like to add it in while it's boiling. Then bring it to a boil and let it boil for about 20-25 minutes, and then you're ready to pour it into your cup. It'll make a whole pot so that's enough for everybody in the family or you'll have lots left over throughout the day. Natural cough syrup. This is just one of my recipes, but this is the one that I am going to make today. So this one is super simple. It only has a few ingredients. The first ingredient is an organic lemon or lemons. You'll need multiple. Raw organic honey, cold pressed organic coconut oil, and optionally cayenne pepper. So one and a half cups of honey, raw organic honey, half a cup of coconut oil, and then you'll want to strain out any seeds. So however you want to do this, I used this to strain out any seeds. And just squeeze them in. I used about three to four lemons. And you'll notice it won't combine very well. So you'll need to place it on the stove on low, medium heat. And you're not trying to boil it, you're just trying to combine the ingredients. And you'll notice the consistency will change. And it will be combined, that's all you're trying to do and then pour it into your jar and it's ready for use. You can add your cayenne pepper at this point, by the way, but I'm leaving it out for the kids. And then you're done. Peppermint tea. Now this is kind of a natural remedy because it's natural, but peppermint tea is amazing to help with reducing fever, nausea, coughs. Um, it has a many other benefits, but it's just a really simple, easy way to help relieve some of those cold and flu symptoms. So I thought I'd add it in for you guys. Oregano Immune Booster. Oil of oregano is known to be antibacterial, antiseptic, antiviral, immune stimulating. It's high in omega-3s, iron, and antioxidants, which makes it a great super setup to kill those cold and flu symptoms. It'll give you instructions on the back of your bottle, but this one says three to five times, three to five drops, three to four times daily. Garlic honey on a spoon. This is more of a quick tip than anything, but it's just crushing up half of a clove of garlic, putting it on a tablespoon, adding some raw organic honey, and then taking it just like that. It'll help boost your immune system. Do it once or twice a day. 